Why did it say death? What does he do? He's been riding freight trains since 1989. Hey, he didn't write it. I was gonna look at these. They're slowing down a little bit in between that event. He doesn't even ride. Millennium Falcon shirt finally came. Oh, like made out of rubber right here. So, in the dress, your water would hear but how nice. And yeah, I've seen that conveyor, it was good. Making a Lego clock. I don't know which one you wanted me to see. 15 worst horror movies ever made. I actually kind of want to make one of those lists. I've seen every shitty horror movie that was ever put on Netflix for uh, it was like a, a span of like three years. So I've seen probably every horror movie on this list. Everyone loves a good, scary Things movie. Prime, when done properly, they take us through a range of emotions. Have us cowering behind a bucket of popcorn and remind us what fragile creatures we actually are. Not all productions manage to achieve this aim, however, and there are countless films that fell flat. Whether it be the plot, the acting, the special effects, or simply an atrocious concept from the outset. We hope you're ready to relive some of the oh, greatest he's gonna put Bird cinematic Dimmick disasters on here. I have to because it's time discount to it. take a look at the 15 Bird worst Dimmick horror movies ever made. <sighs> Number 15. Ginger Dead Man Movie. On the face I've of it, never a movie Ginger about Dead a psychopathic Man. gingerbread man being played by the one and only Gary Busey should have been the perfect B-movie antidote to the polished Hollywood blockbusters that were so common in 2006. But instead, it'll go down in history as one of the most bizarre, downright stupid, and not scary it looks good movies to, me. to ever grace our screens. Doesn't look like Get a gingerbread your little man ass over here and smoke this shit. The basic plot is that the ashes of a dead cool. serial killer were mixed in with the ingredients of a batch of gingerbread men, and his soul inhabited one of the baked figures to wreak his revenge on the bakery. Admittedly, Busey did the best he could with the script, but this wasn't enough to prevent it being declared as one of the hardest movies to watch thanks to its shoddy script and unrelatable humor, and it came in for particular criticism for being so clearly derivative of the much better Child's Play franchise. No, it's nothing, critical it's panning, not even like it. It spawned three further sequels, each of which plumbed it's new depths man. of awfulness, and since the original cast unsurprisingly didn't return for them, there were no redeeming features whatsoever. Before we go on, Sam like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now, or hmm. Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. Okay. Number 14. M. Night if, he, if he does, then he does. M. Night Shyamalan has made a name for himself with his thought-provoking supernatural movies with a trademark twist at the end, and has been responsible for generating more than $3 billion at the box office. Not everything he turns his hand to is a hit, though, and in 2008, he released his first and only R-rated work, The Happening. God, I need to re-watch this fucking movie! What? Fuck! Starring Mark Wahlberg, this one is an it actual tells classic. the story of four friends as they try to escape a strange natural disaster. And while it took $163 million against its $48 million budget, this happened more because of the director and... Writing it down so I don't forget to rewatch this movie. I'm 
after real. star power than anything to do with the quality of the film. It wasn't that bad. It was bad. critically panned. It is a beautifully shit movie. It was the ideal movie. thing to watch if you wanted to take advantage of a comfortable cinema seat to get a decent nap. The story simply didn't make sense. There was very little tension, and even Wahlberg himself said in an interview two years later that it was a really bad movie. It's no wonder then that it regularly tops polls of the worst movies of all Thanks time. Thanks for the bit Definitely not one of the worst of Creep all time. Show 3. But it's very bad. Creep Show and Creep Show 2 were horror anthology movies that were released in the 80s based on stories by Stephen King and directed by George A. Romero. It made sense then that the studio wanted to reawaken the franchise in 2006 with the release of Creep Show 3. But the problem was they weren't able to attach any of the original cast or crew to the project. What resulted was a mess of a movie that was released on even HBO heard of and home video around the world. Instead of linking the individual stories together by a comic book like in the first two, I'll the out, actual Omega. characters in each of the short films interacted with each other, which created a strange sense that you were watching one long narrative, while at the same time, you weren't. There doesn't appear to be anyone who had anything good to say about Creepshow 3. Character development was virtually non-existent, the obviously limited budget made it look There's awful, and X the there. stories being told simply weren't up to scratch. If you're looking for frights and scares, then Creepshow 3 certainly will not be providing them to you. Number 12. Not to Food of the Gods, what? 1989. The Food of the Gods I haven't heard of like Earth was a any of popular these right novel now, actually. written by H.G. Wells that was first published in 1904, and in 1976, it was turned into a fairly terrible movie by Bert I. Gordon that it's was just a said bunch of rats in a pool? to be the worst rodent movie of all time. How many rodent movies are there? Why then, the studio decided that it would be a good idea to release a sequel in 1989, no one will ever know. But if people thought the first was bad, they surely couldn't have foreseen this train wreck of a movie ever seeing the light of day. As sequels go, this one took the unusual step of having absolutely no relation to the original at all, apart That's from probably with a good its thing. name. And while that might have seemed like a good idea on paper, they said. forgot to actually come up with even a semi-decent plot. After injecting a mysterious serum into some rats in a laboratory, they break free and run rampage through a town. It's a classic 80s monster B-movie, but without the comedy, monster design, or fun that fans of the genre like. Number 11, Anaconda 1997. Man, what the fuck are these Green movies? Green anacondas I heard of are the largest these. species of snake in the world. And if you were to ever face... Hold on, I'll be right back though. I want to fill up this water. I haven't had water in a little bit. I tried to watch Karen, but it was just way too boring. It was hard to sit through. It, it was genuinely a hard movie to sit through. Fucking sucked. I'll be right back. Like, not in a fun way. I was hoping it'd be so bad it's good, but it was just so fucking hard to sit through. I'm fucking back. Oh, thanks to Resub Josh and Hustler. Base one in the waters of the Amazon Jump 2. The Harry. I've never seen Exorcist Tick 2. 19. Stephen King is literature. Oh, Master Maximum Overdrive. I know this one. Stephen King. Buster. Different mediums of expression. I've the worst a ever. Bit Stephen. Of that. First Leprechaun movie was released in 1993. You go down. A Wicker Man movie that was released in Classic. 1973. Changed the way we view sea life forever community that was terrorized i haven't he didn't get any like actual good super shitty horror movies thanks to resub satan and infected and carlos and spock you did though yeah maybe some of like the 80s ones where every movie well not every but a lot of the movies were just shitty anyway just because they were low budget I'm talking like big budget horror movies, I think is what you should be focusing on for the worst horror movies. Because one, so much shit in the 80s was just throwaway shovelware shit. I'm talking multi-million dollar budgets and things. That's what I think matters. Because I could also just cherry pick like student films too. I'm talking like some real stinkers.
like let's be evil is there a bread couch the newest grudge newest grudge was absolutely atrocious yep Jason in Spaces, yeah, that one's charmingly bad. Thanks to the Prime Mirage. Craig Denny's Astrologer, never heard of it. I'll check it out, maybe. When art restoration goes...